Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Good morning, Connecticut. If you have been looking forward to a family vacation, but your teen is saying, no, I don't want to go. I want to hang out with my friends. If this is all sounding familiar to you, that's why we have Dr. Amy Alamar here this morning to talk about what you can do, how you can kind of, you know, get your child to like the idea of vacation. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. So teenagers, sometimes they tend to like to stay home. Why is that? So teens are expressing their independence and they are at this really unique stage in life, which can be very exciting and they're exploring and they want to try new things, but they also push back a lot because they don't want to be told what to do. And so mm -hmm. this is why you may have some rub back on the vacation. They may just say, no, I don't want to go. Yeah. So how do you make it exciting for them and make them want to be a part of what's going on? Yeah, so you're in August now, so you've probably already planned it out. Um, mm -hmm. But if they can have any say on the vacation itself, and we have to remember we have limitations, you know, financially mm -hmm. and geographically, but if they have any say of where you're going or what you're doing. Now, if the vacation's already planned and you're on the way, um, you can also offer them some choice on maybe what they're going to eat or if there's a site. And some teens may be excited about the idea of independence and college so you could add in some college visits could be a good idea oh so smart yeah um, so once you get there to whatever this destination is yeah. what can you do with them then yeah so if you've got a sort of grumpy moody teen <laughs> and they're just giving you lots of trouble and kind of pushing back on everything you want to do really let it go you know um, maybe they could stay back at the hotel or if you're visiting with friends um, maybe they can take a break and you give them as much choice as you can but if there's something that you definitely want them to be a part of it's okay to be the parent and say you're coming along and you know you're being a bit of a pain and we got to <laughs> figure this out so conversation is always the best way yeah how do you avoid those big battles because those were tough when I was a teenager. Really? My setting, poor mother. Yeah. <laughs> setting a tone for a conversation and saying, you know, I'm here, I'm going to listen to you, and I'm going to validate your feelings, and I'm going to validate what you're thinking, but I'm not going to validate your behavior if it's negative. And so, um, you know, I'll, I'll listen to you, and I'll hear you out, and I'll give you as much choice as I can, but this is what we're doing. At what point do you, do you ignore it, too, similar to maybe a tantrum of a toddler in some ways? Yeah, I mean, the ways that work best for your child are always going to be different. So ignoring it, or sometimes just kind of feeding into it and getting into the conversation right there or saying you know we could talk about this later and kind of putting it on the shelf for now but like fake it till you make it while we're here and when do you know that it's just kind of a moody teenager wanting their independence and when is it maybe a problem I mean you know something that you would need to go to a doctor for. yeah so if you're seeing changes in behavior so I mean moodiness is normal for everybody right but if you're seeing changes where that moodiness is lingering and it won't go away or they're um, changing maybe their sleep habits or their eating habits they see may be really withdrawn that those are signs that this is more than just moody great. Yeah. Anything else that you should let parents know? You know, vacations are a luxury and a privilege, so enjoy them and try to teach your kids that that's what they are, too. And this is your moment for family time. You have very limited time together, so try to make the most of it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know those family time moments are so important. Yeah. If you can get everyone happy and smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes if that expectation is too high, you know, it really sets everybody up for failure. So just kind of lean into it, enjoy it, and enjoy the imperfections of it. Great advice, Dr. Yeah. Elmer. Thank you so much.